So I'm gonna let you guys in on a, on a little bit of a secret, okay? Um, how to bet against broke. Now, you see the title, uh, it's probably interesting, that's why you're watching the video, but I'm gonna let you know, the whole idea of betting against broke is a crazy, crazy um, kind of, uh, kind of uh, gamble, I guess. It's not really a gamble, but, so let me break it down. Um, betting against broke, um, this is basically you trying to wrap your mind around the fact that you, in order to succeed in entrepreneurship, you can't just like half ass do anything. Um, betting against broke means that you are going to be willing to sacrifice everything um, in order to get to that next level. So when you talk about sacrificing, uh, I don't mean like, I don't mean like choosing what to sacrifice. I mean like sacrificing everything. So let me give you an example. There's a threshold most people have, and this is why on excuse me, entrepreneurship doesn't work for most people is because they'll go into the process and they'll like, they'll, they'll like miss a bill, right? They'll pay a bill, um, not on time. They'll be like a month late or they'll have a couple bills a month late or for whatever reason, um, they can't go out anymore, right? And do like their weekly um, night at the bar with the friends, right? Um, stuff like that. So most people, what happens is when they go into entrepreneurship, um, they are not willing to give up more than that. They're like, well, I've already missed two bills. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, I can't do this. I can't push through this. Um, just like any workout or any conditioning, there's gonna be some really hard things you have to push through, right? Uh, and that's just how it goes in anything. Uh, it, it's not gonna, your next level isn't ever going, you'll never attain it until you push past that, that whole next step, right? Um, so when you go into entrepreneurship, you're gonna have to bet against being broke. It's not that it's not gonna be an option, but there's something called cognitive dishonest, and that's something a lot of high-level CEOs and execs have to where, is there an outcome that could happen that isn't gonna benefit you? Absolutely. Could you lose uh, everything, your car, your house, um, everything that you have? Could you end up being homeless? Could you end up like living in a shelter? Look guys, I've been there, done that. It's not fun, right? I don't recommend it for anybody, but can it happen? Absolutely, I've been there. I've been evicted, I've had my car repoed, like, that shit happens. And now I'm on my way to being a millionaire. I did a few hundred thousand dollars at 26 years old, my first year in business. Um, I mean, it's just, guys, that just happens. That stuff happens. And I'm going to let you know that when you go all in and you fail forward and you, you bet against broke, right? It's where you know it's an option, but you are not going to let it happen. Um, that cognitive dishonest is basically where there are two options. You can be broke or succeed, but being broke is just not in your cards. It's just not going to happen. Like, and other people will come in and they'll say, but it could happen. Those are the people that will never make it. Uh, the people that are overly optimistic, uh, overly optimistic and apply an obsessive amount of intentional action, those are the people that do not believe that broke exists. It's like a myth. It's like a fucking Fugazi, right? Like that it's not real. Um, the only thing that's real is where you're gonna be here the next year. You know that you have what it takes. You are gonna be able to have that like car that you wanna drive, the house you wanna drive, the, the woman you wanna marry, you are going to be able to, to donate to all the charities that you want, feed as many people as you want. You could build a well. Shit. I mean, you could build a well for an entire village, right? Uh, you know, my buddy Akbar Sheik, that's what he did, right? He donates all the time. And I'll tell you right now, if you want to make a true impact in the world, you cannot do that if um, you don't have the financial abundance to be able to. Some people might disagree with that. I doubt anyone on this channel disagrees with that because if you're watching my channel, um, you watch this because you understand like the type of person that I am and I preach this stuff all the time. Um, could you make a small impact without having a lot of money? Totally. Yeah. A couple of people in your town might, you know, say, Hey, good job. Or you might help one person on the side of the road by giving them a, a packet with, uh, or a, a baggie with toothbrushes and stuff like that. Cause they're homeless or you could build a fucking well for an entire village. Okay, or you could go into Sunday church and donate more the entire donate in one day more than the entire church donated that day. Um, that's called creative massive action. Uh, that's taking massive action and creating massive impact. And I'll tell you right now, none of that can happen unless you bet against broke to take this next step uh, to be able to create that financial abundance. But it is going to take betting against the fact that that option of being broke is there, uh, that option of failing is there. So you need to go in here and not let that even be in your cards. So if you bet against broke, you bet on yourself, and you invest in yourself because you are your number one asset, you can take your gain to the next level, but it does not start until you go all in and you are willing to sacrifice everything, not a few things to where you're comfortable, but you're willing to sacrifice everything to get to the next level, and then you will become nearly virtually unstoppable. 
And anyway, I'm really excited. I want to see you get to that point. Um, that's why I wanted to make this video uh, mainly about betting against bro because I've been there. I failed a couple of businesses. You know, I've been fired a few times, uh, car repoed, evicted, stuff like that. And now I'm able to help thousands of people because I have been able to, it's like Thomas Edison said, right? Uh, when he created the light bulb, you know, he went in there and said, um, I didn't figure out the solution for, for the light bulb. I figured or how to create the light bulb. I figured out 10,000 ways that don't work creating the light bulb. So I failed enough time, guys. Watch the rest, watch all these videos on my channel if you're watching this on YouTube or if you found this video in my greeting gift inside um, that you get for joining my Facebook group. Um, then watch the rest of these videos closely. If you have not gotten this completely free course of information where I, I go over literally everything from interviews to trainings to Facebook to sales trainings to, to mentality trainings, go join my Facebook group if you're watching this on YouTube so you can get that entire free course. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm really excited for you. Bet on yourself. You are your number one asset and you have what it takes. Don't listen to the doubters, okay? You have what it takes. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the other side.